Okay, in this video we are going to uh, show how to set up and deploy the UWF shell launcher which is the new kiosk uh, mode for Windows 10. So here we have the CLI device manager and the client that we're going to be dropping the image to uh, is, is the AR9000. So uh, we've already set up the remote patch uh, which is down here and it's called Win 10 Kiosk. I'm going to go ahead and show you the, the setup for the patch is basically uh, you want to make sure don't change file extension is checked on. You do want to reboot the client if the FBWF or UWF in this case is enabled. And then the location of the executable file uh, which is located on this PC that's running the device manager software. So you can see that Devman has the patch already uh, set up and we had created a folder on the, on the PC uh, called Recover. So that's where the actual file is. The executable file is, is in that folder. So we're just pointing the remote patch uh, to that folder and uh, now we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that to the client. So we select the patch. We're going to go ahead and drag it while holding the left mouse button. Drop it on top of the client. You'll see the icon change. Then it's going to say, are you sure you want to execute the patch? You say yes. Are you sure you want it to do a reboot? You say yes. Okay, and then you'll get, uh, then you're done with DevMan. Uh, we'll go ahead and swing this around to show the client screen uh, while it's rebooting here. So the device is rebooting now. This is a fairly fast process because this is one of our faster thin clients that we're doing the, the demonstration on. So um, in this case, the administrator desktop is already loaded and we're just going to go ahead and notice that the UWF uh, filter, the agent is uh, enabled. Uh, sorry, it's disabled, and then it does one more reboot. So the, now the patch has been deployed. Uh, it goes through another reboot, and again, this is all automatic after you drop the patch using DevMan. So this particular patch, you must use DevMan to uh, apply this patch to the thin client. Uh, you can't do it from a USB disk or anything like that. It has to be uh, deployed using DevMan. So one more reboot, and then when it comes back here, the, the shell launcher will be installed. And we'll check that in just a moment. Here it is. Okay, so I can see the UWF is back to enabled again. So we're going to right click that icon. We're going to bring up the UWF configuration tool bring that up on our screen here. Okay, and you can notice a new tab here, the Shell Launcher tab. So we're going to go ahead and configure this. In this case, we want to set up uh, Chrome uh, as the app that's going to auto start for the user. So we're going to drill down to find the Google Chrome application, and there it is. So we're just going to click on that, click OK. Then we only want this for the user, so we're going to put in user. And we're going to set the shell. So then you see that it populates here. You could have multiple uh, apps that auto start uh, in the shell mode in the, uh, uh, for the user. Uh, in this case, we just, we're just going to have Chrome start. So then when we click change, then you see the shell status is enabled. We're going to go ahead and uh, close this. Now, because the UWF is enabled, these changes are only temporary. They're not going to be saved. So we're just going to test this real quick. 
see if it does what we want and it should so we'll log in as the user okay and it did exactly what I want so it started the the Chrome and we'll go ahead and maximize that to save it so um, the way to get out of the kiosk is the hotkey is alt control delete and then you can either reboot the device or sign out switch user there's various things that you can do uh, but in this case uh, it was just a quick uh, video to show you how to deploy the patch and um, There you go. So we really want to commit this. We would want to disable the UWF. We'll go ahead and click OK. Now we must do a reboot. OK. Now we'll go ahead and set that up again. Now that we know it works the way we want, we're going to go ahead and disable the right filter and we're going to configure the shell launcher one more time. And again, the reason I do that is because I just want to make sure something works and tested before I actually open up the UWF uh, and uh, commit changes to the, to the flash. So uh, this time we're going to go ahead and reconfigure the shell again, same way we did before. This time, so you can see it's in red, which means it's disabled. Bring that up. Bring it over here in the middle so I can... basically go through this the same thing again we're gonna choose the app that we want and it could be most any app that you want but we're just choosing Chrome uh, for this example and we want this for user and we're gonna set the shell we're gonna enable it boom done now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me take this back out a little so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to assign the auto logon user to be user and the default password is user with a capital U. We're going to apply that. It wants a restart and Restart it. Now again, the UWF is is disabled, so that means the flash is open, um, and we can make changes to the device. So if everything works right here. We should be done. This will be the second to the last step, just making sure everything is locked down and set up the way that we want it to auto launch the the Chrome browser for the user desktop. And there we go. And see if it launches Chrome. There we go. So it, it did. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it on to full screen because I want to make sure that that comes up for the user in full screen that they don't have to uh, do that. But you can also notice that there's nothing behind there. There's no start button, anything like that uh, on the screen. So we're going to go ahead and commit this. And the way we commit it is to go ahead and enable the right filter. And this will be the final change that we make. Bring up the, the tool. Go ahead and click the change button to enable the filter. We must restart one more time. And now we are finished. So we'll do one more reboot. This thing should come up in user mode with Chrome auto launching. And of course we could have set it to any other web page that we want um, or any other app that we want. We just chose Chrome because it's an easy, uh, easy app to configure and launch for this demonstration.
So the user desktop is almost loaded. And there we go. So it did come up in full screen. This is exactly what we want. And I'm, I'm good to go with this. I'm ready to give it to a user or pull an image and use the image for cloning for other devices. And here's how you can successfully set up a Windows 10 IoT kiosk for the CLI thin client devices. If you have any questions or any problems, please email support at computerlab.com or call us at 800-727-5250 and option 3 for technical support. Thank you.